Around 4 a.m. UK time on Friday this week, the Bank of Japan meet and they all decide on their monetary policy for the coming month. Now you can see the expectation is they're going to keep interest rates the same. They're not expected to make any changes. However, speculation has been surrounding the Bank of Japan this year regarding whether they will ultimately exit their ultra-loose monetary policy. If they did, that would rapidly strengthen the yen. Notice on December the 20th last year, they surprised markets by expanding the band on their yield curve control for the JJBs. And that expansion took markets by surprise. So they have an ability to surprise markets. So if the Bank of Japan do announce an end to their yield control, curve control policy, or maybe even a change in interest rates, that would strengthen the yen rapidly. So as a result, look at this very interesting seasonal pattern that there is in the dollar yen. The yen has a pattern of strengthening against the dollar around sort of start of July into the end of August, 2nd of July, 24th or 4th of August. On average, it's fallen over 70% of the time, the dollar yen pair, for an average return of 1.09%. And there's been some pretty chunky falls in the pair over those periods as well. 2011 seeing a pretty strong 5.22% fall. So if the Bank of Japan do exit their yield curve control policy on Friday, Friday, would that offer a strong opportunity to enter a dollar yen short in expectation of yen appreciation? Major trade risks. The major risk here, of course, would concern the drivers of the dollar and obviously whether or not the Bank of Japan do or do not exit their ultra loose monetary policy.